this is the bachelor entry. Oh, there's the little town site. 1873, bachelor started heritage site. Perhaps for minerals, that's a caravan park. Bachelor was established in 1874 as Rum Jungle nearby and then it moved across to here. Here's a little castle. Fairyland is upon us. Look, a Fairyland castle. How's that? That's in Bachelor. Rick. Alright, we are going to Bully's Rock Hole and people swim here. I can hear the waterfall, so there's some water here. Then we're going up the road to the Florence Rock Hole. You can walk, but we don't want to walk. It's quite pretty scenery. This is in Litchfield National Park. This is the Bowie Hole, Rock Hole, Bully Rock Hole. And there's the water going down, 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 down. Bikini. We're at the Florence Falls lookout nearly. There's a bit of a glimpse. It's a glimpse. There's a busload of Contiki people somewhere, so uh, we've got to share with other people. They've probably gone down the bottom to, to swim. Yeah. Oh, we're out on a platform. Right up. Yes, yes, put this over my arm. Wow, that's what the one at Jim Jim Falls would have been like if we'd gone there. So. This one was more accessible. And there you go, and people swimming in it. We're going towards the Tolma Falls lookout. Past some rocky outcrops. It's very steamy, they've had a bit of rain this morning. Down in the chasm where the dinosaurs live. Whoa! And around there's the water. Yeah, and they live in the cave under there. And there's the water coming up going to the Wongi Falls and we can see it in a minute, we can see it from the road, it's a little silver trail. We're not going on the dirt track because it's closed. Go to the Wongi Falls and then go back the way we came. Some army vehicles, they were doing some training. A little place to sit and have your lunch. And they're building probably an information centre and a cafe. It's a huge car park. There's the little ground. There's the falls and a little bit of garden and beautiful trees. Excellent spot. All the soldiers are having a swim that were in their jeeps. So there's a designated swimming spot over there where the rangers have checked for crocodiles and say there aren't any crocodiles. But there could be, in between their checking there could be, but who cares. Oh, look at that. Wow. This is the town of Adelaide River, I presume on the Adelaide River. We saw the Adelaide River before when it went to the sea at the wetlands. And this they call the front line of World War II. So they must have had lots of soldiers. They got a railway line, probably brought up all the troops. Yeah. We're in Catherine. Here's where we're staying. Not Crossing Resort. There it is. Oh, look at all the palm trees. Oh, pretty trees at the it's Thursday morning. We've just arrived at the Catherine Gorge car park. We picked the close one because we're bright and early. Everyone knows the early bird catches the worm. Seen a couple of kangaroos. We've got everything. We've got water bottles, apples, sunscreen, fly spray. You got your sunscreen? Oh, the sunscreen out of the glove box. We didn't bring it after all that. I didn't bring it. You can hear the cicadas. Little cabin in Catherine had some, has an outside private toilet and shower. We decided we'll swim in the pool rather than have the shower. It's a bit South Korean style where the toilet and the shower are too close to each other and the water all gets sloppy. And we had to brush it out and kill some spiders before Madame Muck decided to use it. There's the river. Catherine River flowing past and the canoes we're going to line up there. Toilets up there. We're just having a look at the information board that tells us all about where we're going. We're just doing the two hour one, two gorges instead of three gorges. This is where the canoes take off and there's the river going up there. 
helicopter overhead because they have helicopter flights, but they're $60, $70. The canoes are $48, half an hour. And we're just waiting. Early birds. Whatever you like. How are you going? I don't know, whatever you want. We've got not much, not much shade there, but... And we're off. There's the canoes. And we're in the front. We may move because it's a bit warm in the sunshine. Got lots of insect spray. And here we go. Nice trees on the side and chasms over there. We're at the front of the boat cooking. Then links up to the Daly River, which ends in the Henderson Bay in the Timor Sea. Now we're up in the gorge system. We have 13 gorges. And in the dry season, each gorge is separated by natural rock barriers. Salt water crocodile trap. Or who knows, probably turn into an embag or wallet. What do you say? Or turn him into a handbag or wallet. <laughs> Or when we do catch freshwater crocodiles, pass them while off and stuff along and let it burn. Now that trap works, it's baited up with a pig's head or wallaby's leaf. Trying to say crocodiles are nesting up there somewhere. And they hatch in November to January. So it could be hatching now. Now where we get around the this is where the gorse has to take more shape and form. Oh, In the wet season, it gets a metre over this rock, low rock. If you're wondering how fast the currents go, just have a look here on the right hand side. You see all these trees are pointing downstream. That's how fast it goes. The slope on the trees. Mmm, very fast. There's a nice. Oh, do a picture of that. You can hear the water rippling over the stones. Ripple, ripple, or you might get the. Use the water. No, no baby uh, crocodiles. Um, we want to have a look at that jar and rock art. Pretty much as you make your way to the second gorge here. Up ahead you see a silver fence line. And all that rock art's behind that fence line on the rock wall. Some of the hatchlings have crawled out. They lay about 20 eggs. 10 will survive. The others will get eaten by the birds. Goannas or... What was the name of their people? Jarl and people. And they're about the size of a little gecko when they come out and crawl into the water. Now when we get around this bend is the end of the first gorge. Oh, alright, so, so, so folks, if you want to get a big drink of water or use the toilet before you do this walk, now is the best time to do it. Oh, alright. Now like I said, this walk is roughly about five to six hundred metre walk. It's all caves and steps and handrails. Yeah. And when you guys are doing this walk to the second gorge, you're going to be walking past some darn rock art. You most likely take lots of pictures of that rock art. Well, most of that rock art up here in the first gorge has all been dated back to be about 8 to 10,000 years old. The movie, we're going through to the other gorge, crossing a little bridge. Some canoeists over there doing ballet, I think. And there's all their little green canoes that look like the seed pods. No little Johnson's crocodiles. A couple of people bringing up the rear. And Chris up there. Enjoying the view. Up the cliff, up, 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 up. But there are some rules of catching a bear on Monday. They've got to be 55 centimetres over to take away from the park. Anything below that, you've got to leave back here. Just cruising down the shallow part. We don't want to hit a rock. Only one and a half metres. Is it one and a half metres? Just do that. You can get it by standing here. You don't have anything. Hey, best views are when you don't like the corners anyway. Yeah, yeah. Well, that image there that you see on the left hand side, this is what we call the But you wouldn't see none of this green vegetation growing up on the left. 
Now the reason why it's growing up here on the right because you've got all the seepage water that runs through the sandstone itself. There's a big swamp on top of the escarpment called the Dunlop Swamp. The sandstone itself it acts like a big sponge. It absorbs all the water from the top. Anyone nervous yet? <laughs> uh, not the moment, right in the middle, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> This is our room in Catherine, a bed, the air conditioner, the tidy desk, supplies, the fridge was smelly, and all our little food supplies. And I'll just take you to show you the toilet. You come out the door, walk around here. Oh, because you have to have a key to get in here. I can't show you. I forgot the key. The few we, we brushed away the spider webs. And there's the outside, lots of palm trees. A huge tree next to us. I don't know what it's called. It's enormous. We've just come back from seeing Catherine Gorge. And the government workers seem to stay over there. There's a long, long row of units. Contract workers and the pools over there. That's where I'm heading right now. You can hear the cicadas. And Nitmilak, the name of the gorge, means the place of the cicadas, and it's on the Blue Kingfisher Water, which is the Catherine River. And just the top thing's fraying, so we've just got to change the. I'll switch it off and go and help before I have a swim. This is the Catherine River. There's the city there. There's a bridge over the top, and it's so wide. As you can see, this is full of trees. And in 1998, I think, the town flooded. They can flood the whole town when it wants to. Isn't that amazing? So, yeah, it's lovely. Three the road. Three deep in the main street. Four yeah, three, three, four foot feet in the main town. There's crocodiles swimming down the main street. Yeah. The water on the other side. We might go back to the car because it's hot. I'm just outside the cabin at Catherine and the heavens have descended upon us. We were just cooking dinner and the noise, the thunder and the lightning came and now the skies have opened up. And it's pouring and pouring and pouring. Of course it can go on like this for hours in the wet season. There's still lightning flashing. There's a little tent over there. Hang on, I'll go through. There's a camping area over here and there's one little tent. Can you see it? That poor person. Oh, oh I'm getting wet myself. This is the path to the toilet. As you can see, it's open to the sky. And the lake is forming on either side, so we might need to get our rowboat out tonight, but they didn't give us one. Woo! Oh, that was, oh, that's beautiful. I got a big streak in that one. Oh, I'm not a good